There's nothing in it. He smacks his pad as he goes and he looks up to the heavens and he knows that all of a sudden all the practicing, all the talking that's done, all the planning, it's all down. Tremendous. Uh, fine leg was up in the circle looking to try and lap it around the corner and pick up a boundary because he knows that Muhammad Amir was a fairly good Yorker. Now it's all about the right field change. Get the right people in the right place. Stop the two. I don't think he's going to go for Yorker here. I think he's going to go short. He's seen him bat. He gets on that front foot, likes to hit down the ground as Mendes. He's slightly tall. He'll be thinking if I can get a a bouncer to him, but the danger always is he has a slog, gets a faint edge, and up she goes over the keeper, and it's four, and it's gone. Game's over. Yep, I thought as much. That's one for the over, sir. Everybody's looking for different reasons to call no balls, but he ran down the pitch. Yeah, probably having a look at the umpire and thinking, was this wide? Was this over his his head? Yes, huge wide. Okay, we got four left, eight needed. He needs to get off strike. He has to get off strike, no matter what he does. Run to the keeper if need be. Whoopsie! Suddenly. It's all going wrong again. Mushy, the question is, that first ball, should you have run? And I think that was a bad, bad mistake. He had to back himself. He'd come so far and so close. I think they should run on this ball. If it goes to the keeper, just run. Even if it's a Yorker, just run. And that's what they've done. Okay. So now you're faced with a very, very tough, tough task. You've got to say, he's going to spear it in at his legs. Where does he find a boundary? Where does he find a boundary? Game tied. No, I wouldn't back that. Two balls left. Mushy. He's got to get a single to keep it alive at least. If you don't get a run, you're gone. You're out the game. I don't know what they're looking for and talking about. Umpires are having a chat. But let's just look at that scenario as it is there. Uh, just having a look. Umpires just want to ensure, was that a legal run? So, was the batsman changing the course of his run? And does the run stand? No problem there. Well behind the line. Well behind the line, and that's good to see from fast bowlers, any young boys out there, young cricketers, young girls, this is what you do. So, he's played the shot, so the shot is on. Now, has he changed the course of his run? In my humble opinion, not at all. Because that ball wasn't on course to hit the stumps, hardly. Yeah, but he could have, the bowler might have caught it. And I don't think he intentionally ran in front of it, to be brutally honest. And so I think sanity prevails, and I think that's 100% correct. Well done to the umpires. They had a good look at it. Great for technology, but pretty good. Now, let's get back to the seven.
back like a rocket to the extra cover. That is a magnificent shot under pressure. Wow. I tell you, that is as good a shot as you'll ever see. It's Mayhem in the commentary box. I can tell you, Alistair Campbell's fallen clean off his chair. As I said, Pat, you've got to think positively. Look for the shot. Don't look for the one. He doesn't have to look for the one. He's got the boundary. It was a double I play. Said super over. It I was a double play. It, it was a double bluff. Well, now comes the hard part. Where do you bowl now? My tent is still standing, Pat. A last ball. What's going to happen? Fantastically bowled. Oh, my word. What more do you want than that? Tamim Iqbal, look at that.